Portable devices are allowed 500 microamps of leakage with the grounds lifted and 100 microamps of leakage when the ground's intact. So today, I'm going to be using a Dale 601 meter. This is a pretty standard electrical safety meter. I want you guys to see it up close. Pretty simple, just a couple dials, some flip switches. The first thing to do when testing out electrical safety is you have to check your meter. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this up on 0.15 ohm. You can see it right here. Connect it there. And your dial is going to be on earth resistance. And on the meter, it should show pretty close to 0.15 of an ohm. Then we're going to switch it over. 100 microamps. We're going to click it on there. Take your meter down to enclosure leakage. And you should see a 100 pop up on the screen. Now we've just verified the probe and the meter are ready to rock and roll. Now I'm going to perform electrical safety on this Jackson table. First step, plug our meter into the wall. Plug the table into the meter. Connect the ground to the grounding lug. first part of the test is earth resistance. So I make sure that the dial is on earth resistance. So for earth resistance, you have to bend the cord around the power jack, and then you have to bend the cord around the plug. And I am getting 0 0.16, 0 0.18 was the highest reading. So 0.18 for my ground resistance, go down to enclosure leakage. This test is performed both with the power on and the power off. So first off, we're going to test it with the power off. Make sure that the power is off on the table. Make sure that the outlet is in normal and L2 is closed. Metering between zero and zero. I lift ground, I got zero, zero, one. Ensure that the power is on. I'm going to lift ground and I've got 11. Here's the trick. You have to make sure that you run each and every fan, motor, or heater chiller while you're doing the leakage test to test whether or not it's actually giving on leakage. I'm going to lift ground and I'm going to raise the table. I've got 12. 12 microamps is about what I'm getting, but then we have one other motor. This will rotate from side to side, so I'm going to lift ground. Okay, I'm getting 12 microamps. Turn it to home position. There we go. So that's in a correct electrical safety test on a Jackson table. Next I'll be doing electrical safety on a video tower. Now video towers, because they have integrated power strips, they have to be tested with their common power cord. So I've already checked this cord for abrasions, and the cord itself is safe. So I'll proceed with the safety test. Make sure that the 601 meter is plugged in. Plug in the common power cord. So the first test is going to be an earth resistance test, and I'm going to test the cabinet itself. So I'm going to find a good ground. I think I have one down there. Yes, I do. It's 0.16 of an ohm. So we are good. And now the other part of the test is I have to flex the cord at both ends. So I'll start here with the equipment side. 0.15.16 and here at the plug side I got 0.19.25 so that tests the cabinet now the earth resistance test for all the components inside the cabinet so we'll start at the top one connect to the ground lug now I've got 0.17 Take the next one, 0.23. Next one, 0.23. And 0.26. So all these components test out the ground. 
Now the next tests have to be performed with the power off and the power on, which would be your leakage checks. So I'm going to go ahead and first check the leakage of all these devices with the power off. So I've got zero, lift ground, I've got zero. Zero, lift ground, I've got zero. Zero, lift ground, I have zero. Zero, lift ground, zero. Printer, zero, lift ground, zero. Now I'm going to flick on the master power to the whole tower. I'm going to check the cores to make sure they're all firmly inserted. I'm going to start with the top device. Enclosure leakage. Lift ground. Seven microamps. Seven microamps. Six microamps to seven microamps. Get two microamps and seven microamps. In the bottom unit, one and seven microamps. Power, switch off, bundle the cord up properly. And this unit is ready to get stickered for a pass on the electrical safety. Thanks for watching this video on proper electrical safety. If you like this kind of content, give me a big old thumbs up and please subscribe. If you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, please leave them below. Thank you.